Things are getting very interesting. In Kenya, there are no permanent friends or enemies in politics, but just permanent interests. We are getting some information that last month, William Ruto Uhuru Kenyatta in Matiangi met in the United States of America. And a political deal might have been discussed. Uhuru was present, Ruto was there, and Matiangi. So it might be possible that a political deal might be in the offing. We might be staring at another handshake. Let's have a look at the gossip as captured by one of Kenya's daily print media. Corridors of power, political gossip. It's important for Kenyans to understand where there is fire, there is smoke. In some occasions, we've seen these gossips turning out to be true. So this is not the first time. We've seen in several locations some of these gossips turning out to be true. Political gossip. During President William Ruto's recent tour to the USA for Ungam, a curious detour to Boston took place. Sources hint that former President Uhuru Kenyatta was in town with former powerful cabinet secretary Fred Matiangi allegedly orchestrating a hush hush meeting. While details remain sketchy, political observers are buzzing. Could this be the groundwork for a second handshake? Stay tuned. The political chessboard may just be shifting again. Ruto was in the US last month where he met Uhuru and Matiangi. I want us to dig deep into this for Kenyans to understand what might be happening behind the scenes and what all that means politically. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, Subscribe, give the video a like. Let's proceed. Let me start by saying this. I have a very strong feeling that Uhuru Kenyatta has been suffering some guilt for having not delivered the presidency to Raila Odinga. He never took it seriously. That's why Raila Odinga lost 2022 presidential election. I have got that strong feel that Uhuru Kenyatta might be regretting. That can explain why Uhuru Kenyatta has not been very keen in embracing William Samoy Ruto. That guilt still eats him. Now that Taylor Odinga is allegedly in a working arrangement with Ruto, I don't think there is anything that will stop Uhuru Kenyatta from embracing Ruto. If he could have embraced William Ruto very fast after the elections, then it could have been taken to mean it was after all a long con. And that's what people could have been saying right now. So Uhuru Kenyatta had to wait. Now with Rail Odinga embracing Ruton, Uhuru will most definitely embrace Ruton. I've also been maintaining here that if you look at Uhuru, Raila Ruto, Rigadis, Kalonzos, these are all politicians. There is nothing very special that differentiates them. They are all politicians. They look for where their interests are being catered. As it is right now, 
Uhuru stands to gain more by embracing the government of the day than by embracing the opposition. So if he was to make a decision, Uhuru will clearly lean towards the government. What William Ruto needs to do is just for him to humble himself to reach out to Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru will embrace Ruto's government provided William Ruto humbly reaches out to Uhuru Kenyatta. And he will also embrace Ruto because Raila Odinga has also embraced Ruto. So this talk of a long con will be irrelevant. Where does that leave the mountain and more so regarding the Shago and his supporters? In the event Uhuru embraces William Ruto, then things will even be thick for Rigadi and his supporters on the mountain. In that we might see a substantial support shifting from Rigadi's team to Ruto's team. Kenyans should start preparing for that. And that will also spell doom for Kalonzo Musyoka and his team because they are hoping and waiting that maybe Uhuru Kenyatta will throw his weight behind them. In the event Ruto and Uhuru works together, then Kalonzo Musyoka and his team will obviously suffer a very heavy blow as far as mountain politics are concerned. Equally, regarding the Shagwam, will be forced to go back to the drawing board. Because this is something Rigadi really fears. Aruto Uhuru working together, that's something Rigadi Gashagwa has all along feared. And that's why not once, not twice, but on several occasions, he has been invoking Uhuru Kenyatta's name. Rigadi understands very well that should Uhuru work with Ruto, then him Rigadi, his goose will be cooked on the ground. That's what I'm seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. And above all, if you look at Uhuru Kenyatta, Uhuru has been silent in the past months. That can also signal that Uhuru Kenyatta is not very keen to be actively involved in Kenyan politics. He's cleverly trying to retire from Kenyan politics. But that does not mean he cannot give out some signals as to where his heart is. In the event he works with Ruto, he'll clearly give a signal to that. Let me stop it there. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Any person watching us outside Kenya for the first time, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give the video a like. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Sasa nikisikia watu kusema kutoa serikali. Bwana tuseme ni ukweli bwana. You know we are young people we don't want to lie to our community at this early stage. Hii uongo tumeisikia miaka mingi. Our young generation we don't want to follow the same footsteps the old people have taken us through. Mtu anasimama hapa ni toboe au ni soboe? Niwaambie kitu moja. Ni ukweli hata mimi ni mmoja wao nilisimama juu nikasema nikipewa mmoja ya kutoa Ruto nitatoa. Ni ukweli wata wapendi Ruto. Lakini hao watu ambao wanatembea hapa wameongozwa na Kalonzo, hadi wanaweza toa Ruto kwa kiti tusemane ukweli bwana. Let's be serious. Hadi watatoa Ruto kwa kiti hao. It is true, it is true wata wapendi hiyo jamaa. Lakini ati hawa hawa Ah, hey, bwana. Porekezi mbaka bwana. Porekezi mbaka. Porekezi mbaka, porekezi mbaka. Ni toboe ni soboe.
Mwelekezi mbaka Mchana usiku danganya watu Mchana hapana sio kale bwa mizi Danganya